In this video, I'm going to be spending 100 days in Hardcore Minecraft as a Dragon Master. And this world is filled with dragons. Some are nice, and others are not. So, I'm going to have to do my best to survive while mastering as many dragons as possible. And for this video, I have three goals. My first goal is to collect over 20 different dragon egg species. My second goal is to master my dragons by training them up to level 100. And finally, I want to use my master dragons to take down the volcano dragon of the underworld, which is the strongest dragon in this world. So make sure to subscribe for good luck against the volcano dragon, because I'll need it. Now, enjoy. Day one, I spawned on top of a tree with something in my hand. And it was a satchel, so I opened it up and got a dragon egg. This dragon is called the Drake. And its diet type is omnivore and its preferred foods are raw fish. So now I had my first dragon egg. I needed to get down from this tree though, so I decided to break some of the redwood and try and craft it into a crafting table, but that didn't work so I decided to MLG going down, losing a lot of my health. And that's when I saw my first dragon, which was super cool. But I needed some tools so I found a spruce tree, broke down some of the logs, made them into planks, and then crafted myself a crafting table. Once I had that, I made myself a wooden pickaxe and a wooden axe. I needed some food to heal up, so I found some sheep, and that's when I went back into the forest and found these creatures. These things were super powerful, and I had to get past them, so I battled them. But these monsters were super relentless, not to mention they were doing a lot of damage. I knew I had to get away quick, so I accidentally fell into a cave and took a lot of damage. But because I'm better than Mr. Beast, I was able to stay alive and get into a cave. Inside of there, there was some coal, so I decided to grab that and craft myself some torches. Now that I can light the place up, I needed some better tools. So I mined a bunch of stone and decided to craft myself a furnace as well as some stone tools. And once I had gotten those, I broke out of my cave and then decided to collect some red flowers, which you will see what I'll use for later on. I realized it was getting late, so I used some wool I had and crafted myself a bed and went to sleep. Day 2, I immediately started to adventure when I saw a really cool dragon in the sky. So I decided to investigate, and it had landed. I also saw its enclosure over there, so I might be able to get the egg if I could get up there. But first, I needed a heal, so I went around getting every single pig I could get, and then cooked them into pork chops. Once I had my food situation handled, I decided to craft myself a stone shovel and begin mining a bunch of dirt. And by that time, it had gotten super late, so I cooked my food and went to sleep. And that's when I noticed some more sheep. So I took out all the sheep, and remember when I got those red flowers? I turned those into red dye and crafted red wool so I could make a really cool item. This is called the glider, and it's going to allow me to travel way better. It is super cool and allows me to fly. So now I decided to use all the dirt that I had and see if I could get up to the enclosure, which I was able to. I made my way across and found the dragon egg. This was the same dragon that I had seen before, so it was going to be an awesome dragon to have. This dragon is called the Tyrex, and its diet type is omnivore and its preferred foods are rabbit stew and carrots. Now I had my second dragon egg, and this enclosure had a lot of ores on it. So I decided to grab some iron from the enclosure, as well as some other resources. And this would be a perfect time to test out my glider, so I jumped off the island, and I was able to fly. This glider was super fun, and it was a great way to get down from high heights. But that's when I noticed another dragon enclosure. This one had lava and stuff all over it, so I went to explore, but that's when the dragon shot a fireball at me. This dragon was super hostile, so I had to take it out. And I only had a stone axe, and the durability was super low. So I kept going in while this dragon was dodging and shooting a bunch of fireballs at me. And eventually, my axe broke, so I had to switch to my pickaxe and hope a fireball wouldn't get me. Luckily, I was able to get it cornered and crit it out and finish off the dragon. But there was still another dragon over there, and it was super high level. I knew I needed to get my next dragon egg, but I had to be really careful. Luckily, there were some ores around this enclosure as well, so after mining up all of those, I quickly snuck over to the dragon egg. And that's where I found it, my next dragon egg. This dragon is called the Magnus, and its diet type is carnivore, and its preferred foods are raw beef and raw mutton. So after knowing that, I mined up the dragon egg and got my next dragon. Not to mention, as I was leaving, I noticed the two dragon eggs that I had, and the full dragons were flying in the sky. But there's still some ores to be mined here, so I decided to grab all of the ores from the enclosure, and got myself 26 iron. While leaving, I noticed a giant red dragon. I didn't know if it was hostile or not, but it looked really cool and I really wanted to get one. It was flying right at me, so I had to leave, and I couldn't look for the enclosure quite yet. So I decided to find a good place to smelt my iron ingots, while I practiced using my glider, trying to get the hang of it. But after a while of training with it, I was able to craft myself some iron tools. And because I collected a lot of iron, I used the remaining iron to craft myself some armor. Now I had everything but some iron boots. So with my armor and tools, I went to sleep and went out adventuring the next day when I saw a structure. I went inside, and there was a spawner for those mobs that I had to fight at day one. 
so I broke it really quickly and looted the place grabbing the bookshelves and grabbing some loot from a chest. I continued on adventuring when I saw a really cool cherry blossom tree over here, just like the Minecraft 1.20 update. This enclosure looks super cool, so I wanted to see if there was a dragon egg. But first, I had to loot all of the sugar cane so I could make it into books later. And that's when I found my next egg. This gorgeous pink egg is called the cherry blossom, and its diet type is vegetarian with its preferred foods being apples and carrots. Now I had my next dragon egg, and I saw a structure in the distance, but it was getting super late so I went to bed and the next day I went inside the structure to explore. This was a really cool barn. It had chests, pumpkins, and was made of brick. And there's also an upstairs area. So I decided to go up there when I noticed another dragon egg. So I mined it. This dragon is called the Ram Talon. Its diet type is vegetarian and its preferred foods are apples and carrots as well. Now I had another dragon egg really close after I got the other one. And there's an anvil up here. So I looted it and continued adventuring. And after a couple days of running, I noticed these giant structures. It looks super cool. So I decided to get my glider out and go exploring. So I flew in using my glider and landed safely in some water nearby. That's when I noticed a dragon was just running into a wall, but this enclosure was made out of a lot of iron blocks. So I looted those up and decided to put this dragon out of its misery. Then I continued to collect a lot of iron blocks and make my way inside the enclosure. And that's where I found a new dragon egg. I mined it and this dragon is called the Lunar. Its diet type is pescatarian, and its preferred foods are raw fish and cooked fish. I could not wait to hatch this dragon. So I continued exploring, but it was getting super late so I went to bed. When I woke up, I realized that there were more dragon enclosures. So I looked around and found another dragon egg. This dragon was surrounded by a lot of quartz blocks and some lava. So I mined the dragon, and this one is called the Kitsune. Its diet type is vegetarian, and its preferred foods are apples and carrots. After I'd gotten that dragon egg, I knew that there was going to be a dragon egg around here somewhere. So I looked around the pumpkins, finding myself this next dragon. This dragon is called Pumpkin, and its diet type is vegetarian, and its preferred foods are apples and carrots as well. After collecting the pumpkin egg, I placed all my eggs, and I could not wait to become a better dragon master by hatching all these later in the video. I noticed another enclosure, so I used my glider and jumped off the edge of the enclosure. I needed to get down quick, and there was a pond of water, so I clutched into it. That's when I came closer to the enclosure and noticed a bunch of aliens. These guys were hostile. So I had to break their spawners quick, but there was fire and all sorts of things trying to prevent me from doing that. I kept running around trying to break the spawner, but these guys were knocking me back and I got knocked into some fire. So I ran into some water and tried to heal up. There were so many of these aliens, I had to get rid of a few of them. I ran around some trees trying to evade, and eventually I made it back to the meteorite. And slowly started taking out these aliens one by one, looking for a way to get into their enclosure. After defeating all the aliens, I tried to break into their enclosure, but it was going to take a while. I finally got inside and grabbed the dragon egg. This dragon was called the Galaxy. Its diet type is omnivore, and its preferred foods are apples and steak. This is one of my favorite eggs, and there are some other aliens in here, so I had to get out quick with all my dragons. When I was leaving, I found a village, and looted it up grabbing some diamond horse armor and some other things before going to bed. When I woke up, I saw that one dragon that I had seen before, but this one wasn't red, it was gray and it had its enclosure right next to it. I was really careful because the last dragon had attacked me, and I made my way inside its enclosure, and it was staring right at me. I did not want it to shoot a fireball at me, so I had to grab the dragon quick. And I mined it, and this dragon is called the Clay. Its diet type is Stone Eater, and its preferred foods are iron ingots and diamonds, which is really crazy. So I mined the Clay egg, got it, and then left on my glider super quickly. And out of the corner of my eye while running, I noticed another dragon enclosure. So I went inside this pumpkin, and I mined my next dragon. This dragon is called the Hallow. Its diet type is omnivore, and its preferred foods are cake and pumpkin pie. At this point, I had way too many dragon eggs. So I looked for the perfect place to build a big house where I could put all my eggs and start hatching them. Eventually, I found this awesome mountaintop view, and I knew this would be the place where I'd build my house. So I began to work. eventually ran out of resources and I needed some more, so I used my glider and went to grab some sand for some glass. And while I was out, I found another dragon enclosure, so I decided to run inside. Inside, I found my next dragon egg. This dragon is called the Festive Eve, and its diet type is omnivore and its preferred foods are apples and golden apples. So with this awesome dragon, I found another egg. I continued exploring this icy mountain biome when I found this icy shrine on the top of this mountain. 
So I decided to mine this thing in the center, and it was a tier 1 ice incubator. And I had found this pirate ship as well. But it had some mobs on it, and I didn't feel like I could take it out. So I had to deal with these two pesky spiders before I could go back home. And after I dealt with those, I made it up my ladder, and went back home to go to sleep. I needed to grab some resources, so I went out while my dragon incubated. So I grabbed a bunch of coal so I could smelt up all the sand that I had gotten. And I hatched my first dragon. I hatched my lunar egg that I had gotten previously, and named it Eclipse. So it was a lunar eclipse dragon. I also decided to level it up some to get it a little bit bigger, and work on my house. I needed a good place to store all my things that I'd be getting for my adventures. So I made a second story balcony to my house, and decided to incubate my next dragon. While I waited for the Ram Talon to incubate, I grabbed all the glass that I had smelted and placed it all inside the windows. And by the time that was over, it was ready. So I named it Subscribe, which is what you should do right now if you think this dragon is cute, and if you're enjoying the content so far. Remember, subscribing is always free, and it helps out a lot. Also, I had this really cool cave to get into my house, so I decided to go to the bottom of it and grab some resources that I needed, like some coal, some lapis, and I was able to find a dragon fossil, which was pretty cool. Continued venturing down further and further into the caves, grabbing some coal because I would need this for tomorrow. So I went to sleep, and the next day I crafted myself some mana infused iron, and smelted up all of my gold. I would use this to create some dragon orbs, so now I could store all of my dragons. So I grabbed my subscribe, and started incubation on my Tyrex egg. The fuel source for this incubator was water. So after making an infinite water source, I was able to fuel it infinitely. While I waited for that egg to incubate, I wanted to work on my house a bit more, and after getting a windows texture pack, my house was looking a lot better. So I put some final touches on the house to make it look better, and decided to go out exploring. I used my glider and launched off. I eventually found this really cool swamp, but it was raining, and I had to take out a witch. There were also these really crazy frogs that did each different damages. One gave me slowness, and some others gave me poison, so I had to take those out quickly as well. This biome also had some crazy cool mushrooms that I think would be a really cool addition to my cave, so I looted up a lot of blocks from around the shrine. There was also this really cool slimy log, and I grabbed those too. Also right next to the swamp biome, there was a Fire Nation outpost, and it was spawning Fire Nation soldiers. So I had to destroy all the spawners, and then fight the Fire Nation soldiers. After I had done that and got the last spawner, I could loot up the rest of the frog area. By that time, it was getting super late, so I took over the witch hut and went to sleep. I couldn't fully see all the loot when I was attacking the Fire Nation area, so I came back the next morning and grabbed all of it. When I noticed some dragons, and I was able to snag a cool banner for my house. I had looted all of that, so I continued exploring. And I had found another cherry blossom enclosure, and some crazy dragon staring at me. There was also another pumpkin enclosure, so I grabbed my second pumpkin egg. And this thing was trying to get me, so I was able to back up, and left the egg alone. That's when I came across another dragon egg, but this one was new. And this dragon was super cool. This dragon was called the Silva. Its diet type is herbivore, and its preferred foods are potatoes. So I grabbed my next dragon egg, clearing my inventory because it was super full. A bit more adventuring later, and I came into a desert. And there are these serpent creatures, and they were hostile. So I fought to take them out. I got one of them, and then saw another. So I was battling it as well. I did a 360, jumped off the mountain, and finished it off. I wanted to see what dragon eggs I could get from the desert, and that's when I saw a bunch of dragons. And they looked really big. So I went over there when I found a dragon egg enclosure and a dragon egg. This dragon is called Death, and its diet type is carnivore, and its preferred foods are cook steak and pork. So I collected the dragon egg, and I found another enclosure. And inside, there was another dragon egg. This dragon is called the Night Stalker. Its diet type is carnivore, and its preferred foods are raw chicken. So I collected both of those dragon eggs, and some of the loot from inside this enclosure, because there were gold blocks, and some vases that had some awesome ores inside. Not to mention the Death Dragon enclosure had a bunch of bone blocks that I could turn back into bones. I got those and went to sleep when I found another structure. This had a crazy cool dragon inside, and I did not want to get killed by one of its fire blasts. But I was able to grab the egg, and this dragon is called Myth and its diet type is carnivore and its preferred foods are cooked chicken. I collected the egg and creeped past the dragon because it was super scary, and then left finding another enclosure a couple days later. And this enclosure was super cool. I didn't want to get hurt by the dragon, but I eventually made my way down and found the gladius. This dragon's diet type is omnivore and its preferred foods are apples and steak. I had almost reached my goal of collecting 20 different dragon egg species now, so I decided to go back using my glider, sleeping in the desert, and traveling for a long time. While traveling to go back home, I found another dragon egg, and I had never seen this one before. This dragon is called the Tigris. 
Its diet type is carnivore, and its preferred foods are raw chicken and mutton. So I got that, and made my way into another desert seeing another different dragon. This one was hostile though, and was trying to attack me, so I had to take it out quick before it could hurt me. And after taking it out, I went inside its really cool desert temple, and found its dragon egg. So I broke the dragon egg, and this dragon is called Raw. Its diet type is carnivore, and its preferred foods are cooked chicken and beef. Definitely one of the coolest dragon eggs I've seen so far. And this place had a lot of treasure as well. So I looted up all the treasure, and then left to go to the village that was right there, but there was a serpent riding a scorpion that was stopping me. So I tried to attack it a couple of times before giving it up, and then heading to the village, where I collected some books, and then decided to finally go back home using my glider. After a while, I made it back home, and had a good night's rest. I woke up with my new dragon eggs, and placed a new one on the pedestal, but I had been running out of space. So I decided to use my iron blocks and craft another pedestal so I could place all the other dragon eggs that I had collected. I knew before I could start hatching more dragons, I would need some more dragon orbs, and that meant going down into the mines and collecting a bunch of resources. So I was down there for a couple of days, getting everything that I would need to make more dragon orbs. So while I was down there, I was able to pick up some obsidian, go back home, and then go to sleep. So I woke up the next morning, and with my lava bucket and the obsidian that I had collected, I crafted myself a lava incubator. I also had some leftover obsidian, and then I could use my lapis and enchant all of my armor and tools. So after I did that, I crafted all the dragon orbs I would need, but I knew I would need to fuel the lava incubator, so I went down into the mines and grabbed a bunch of lava. With the lava, I fueled up my lava incubator and began hatching eggs. By this point, it was super late, so I went to sleep, and in the morning, I was ready to hatch my eggs. The first egg I hatched was the gladius egg, so I named it gladiator, and this dragon was super cool. I then got it into a dragon orb, and then realized I would need some more space if I was going to keep hatching dragons. So it was time to expand the house. So after a bit of building, this is what I got. I had a whole downstairs area, and all of them were automatic doors. I also had a bridge with an open airway that connected the second floors, and they all had a great view. I could see all my dragon eggs and everything. And then when you go to the top floor, this is where I'm going to be leveling up my dragons. And it's a nice big area where I can view everything. It made everything look a lot better, and now I can hatch my galaxy dragon. I decided to name it Starlight because it fit the theme, and this galaxy dragon was super cute. I put it next to my lunar dragon, and they looked awesome. I got them back into their dragon orbs, and then hatched the kitsune egg, and named it Comet Dragon. So every time you see this dragon, you have to leave a comment. Let me know in the comments what your favorite dragon is. I spent the rest of the day hatching dragons, and I brought them all up to the top story. I had all the dragons, and they were super cool. I had a death dragon, and my Tyrex was up there as well. So once I had gotten that done, I added the finishing touch to my house before going to sleep. And the next day, I went out adventuring. I needed to get a couple more resources, and the first thing I needed to get was a bunch of food, because I would need to level up my dragons. So I went around getting all the pigs that I could, and just all the animals in general. And after a long day of doing that, I had gotten a couple stacks of pork chops, so I cooked some up before going to bed. And the next day, I used the bones that I had gotten, and the meat that I had gotten to make some dragon treats to level up my next subscribe dragon. This is the death dragon, and it is super cool. I also wanted to level up my eclipse. I had also hatched my next dragon and named it Sphinx. I hatched my raw dragon. It was level 1, but it looks super cool. I then hatched my festive eve dragon and named it Christmas because it seemed pretty fitting. And this was a super cute dragon as well. One step closer to becoming an even better dragon master. So I got it in its dragon orb and then went to sleep and the next day began incubating more eggs. I also filled up my incubator with some lava and then decided to decorate my cave a bit more with the mushrooms that I would gathered before. So after doing that, I crafted myself a diamond axe and then went out to the forest to grab a bunch of wood so I can get crafting some bookshelves. So I went back, crafted those and it was late so I went to bed. The next day, I found a good spot in my cave and then hollowed it out so I could make an enchanting table room. I didn't have enough bookshelves yet, so I would have to get some more books later, but my drake egg had finished incubating, so I named it Green Giant. And the dragon was super cool. I threw out some of my other dragons, and they were looking awesome. After I admired those, I fixed my pickaxe, and then went out to go grab some more meat, cause I needed to train up my dragons a lot more. And while I was out getting meat, I ran across these two spiders and a giant dragon. And I hit it, and then it started spraying fire at me. So I had to get out of there. It then launched a giant green fireball at me, so I decided to go in for the attack. And it had caught me on fire, so I was burning. Since that was such a close call, I eventually made it back home, and crafted some more books so I could make those into bookshelves. 
before going to bed. I went out the next day to go adventuring. While I was out, I decided to grab some more resources that I would need for the enchanting table room. And I came across the new biome with some fully grown adult pegasuses. So I tamed one and now I could fly around in the skies, so I could use my pegasus until my dragons leveled up. I also decided to fight a full grown dragon while I was on my pegasus. And this was pretty challenging, but we were winning and we eventually were able to take it down. So I made my way into a swamp biome on my pegasus, and we found a frog creature. The thing was definitely hostile, and there were some mini crocodiles all around it. I switched over to my diamond axe, and took out the frog creature and those funny sounding crocodiles. And after I defeated it, I was able to get myself a frog spear, which was the best weapon in this mob. We flew around a bit longer, and found another Fire Nation camp outpost, so I broke the spawners and collected the loot before leaving. And we continued flying around, finding more and more eggs. And this is when I found a new egg. This dragon is called the Nightbringer, and its diet type is Omnivore, and its preferred foods are apples and steak. So after collecting all the gold from that temple, I flew my Pegasus back home and incubated the new egg. I then leveled up one of my dragons before going to bed. I woke up the next day and finished my enchanting table room, so now I can get level 30 enchants. But I didn't have enough levels, so I fixed two problems with one solution, and got stacks of meat as well as getting some levels. I got a looting 3 on my frog spear, so now I can get dragon treats a lot quicker. I was able to craft a bunch of dragon treats before going to bed, and then I went up to my dragon leveling room and leveled up all my dragons. I got my subscribe dragon to level 30, and he was getting super big now. I also wanted to level up Blue Fury, and now I could ride my dragon. He was super cool, and he had two powerful attacks, so I took him out. He was super fast, and his attacks were super awesome. They were ice fireballs, and he shot blue fire, so this dragon was super cool. I flew him around training for the rest of the day, mastering my dragons, and took out some mobs while I was at it. I took out a bunch of these spiders, and it was super easy on my new dragon. But I needed to learn a lot more, so after accidentally killing my dragon, I decided to go home. And go to bed. I woke up and crafted a bunch of chests so I could make a whole new chest room upstairs. Now I had a lot more swords for all my dragons and other things. I also leveled up my Eclipse Dragon to level 50, and he was super cool, he was definitely my favorite dragon. He had one ability, but it was super powerful and there were 8 shots that I could do simultaneously. So I decided to test it out on some adult dragons, and was able to take them out with a couple shots, as well as going in with my sword. And the battles were super intense, but this dragon was relentless and super powerful. I trained all day clearing out all the dragons from the mountain, and just mastering my dragons, so I could be super powerful. I also wanted to train on my death dragon, and this one was super big and crazy hard to ride but I was able to make it back home and go to sleep. I needed to master my dragons even more, so I decided to go out adventuring with the ones I had leveled up. I used my Blue Fury Dragon and found another ship, and was able to take out all of its crew members. These guys were hostile sharks, so after getting them with fire, I went down and started hitting each and every single one of them, clearing them all out. And finally taking out the last one, getting a bunch of pirate coins, and a Ender Dragon head in the process. This is super cool. There was a dragon egg down here, but there were more of these guys down here, so I had to take them out. After getting the last one, I noticed some giant parrots in a cage. So I definitely had to let those go, but I wanted to get to this dragon egg. This dragon is called the parrot, and its diet type is vegetarian with its preferred foods being seeds and pumpkin seeds. Definitely a pretty unique dragon, so I was happy to have it. I then let these parrots out of their enclosure and let them fly free. They were super big and they looked awesome. There's also some loot on the pirate ship, so I grabbed that before going out adventuring the next day. I also found another dragon, this one was one I had never seen before. So I was trying to take it out with Eclipse, and eventually I had gotten it. I made it onto its enclosure, and up towards its dragon egg. And this is the Coral Dragon. Its diet type is Pescatarian, and its preferred foods are raw fish and cooked fish. I got another dragon in my collection, when I found a dragon I had never seen before in any of my dragon videos. This one was super cool, so I decided to train with it using my dragon. I took it out, and its enclosure was super unique, but before I could get to it, I had to fight these serpents, and my Eclipse Dragon did the perfect assist and helped out. I eventually made it inside the enclosure, and found the dragon. This dragon is the Lotus, its diet type is vegetarian, and its preferred foods are apples and beetroot. So I grabbed the dragon, and continued out adventuring when I found a desert temple. There was not really much in the desert temple, but I was able to grab some bones, and some other resources. After leaving the desert temple, I decided to swim to this island over here because it looked pretty cool. There was also this shrine in the center of it. So I decided to investigate and I clicked it and water particles started going everywhere. And then a giant crab spawned. So I had to battle it. It did so many hearts of damage, three and a half per hit. So I had to be super careful and use my spear to take it out.
When I took it out, it dropped a water essence, which is pretty cool, but I definitely didn't need it. I continued adventuring, finding another coral egg, and I decided to take the lapis blocks from around it. I then grabbed the egg and left on my lunar dragon. When I noticed another dragon enclosure high in the sky, so I flew up. And there's a dragon standing right there, so I had to be quick. And grab this dragon egg. This dragon is called the Storm Stratus, and its diet type is Omnivore, and its preferred foods are cooked chicken and apples. So after grabbing that dragon egg, I had to take out this dragon quick. I knew I'd need to level up my dragons when I got back, so I took out a bunch of cows using my looting three, and finally made it back home. I placed my new dragon eggs in, and I still had a whole bunch of them. I then crafted a bunch of dragon treats, now I can level up my dragons a lot more so I went to sleep and threw out my death dragon. So I leveled up subscribe and my sphinx dragon as well as my blue fury. They were getting super big and really powerful, so I decided to master them by training with them a bit. And this blue fury was so much fun to ride on. So I used both of his attacks to take down this drake dragon, and it was a challenge but I was able to do it. So I continued attacking this dragon using my abilities destroying every dragon I saw in sight, and after a day of training, I made it back home and went to sleep. I forgot I got an ender dragon head, so I placed that in my house, and then used the lotuses that I had picked up to decorate my enchanting room a little bit before going down into the mines to get some diamonds. I eventually found some, and was able to get a bunch of resources. So I kept collecting more and more diamonds, and by the end of my mining trip, I had gotten 31 diamonds. This would be enough to make all my armor. So I climbed back up my ladders, went home and went to sleep, and the next day crafted up all my diamond armor, and started enchanting. I got protection for it on a lot of my stuff, but I needed more levels, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to go grab some meat, and get levels at the same time so I can craft some dragon treats, and then start incubating eggs. My Nightbringer egg hatched, so I named it Daybringer, and it looks super cool. My Clang egg hatched, so I decided to name it Terry after one of my channel members. My channel members get a lot of perks on the channel, like these custom emojis and some other stuff, so it's worth getting. Eventually, I enchanted my diamond legs with protection 4, and my diamond helmet, and then my diamond boots. And I also enchanted my axe and my pickaxe, so now I had full enchanted diamond gear. I also wanted to incubate more eggs, so while I incubated my lotus egg, I decided to level up subscribe. I got him to level 50, and then blue fury to over level 50 as well. I also wanted to get eclipse higher level, so I got eclipse to level 70, and my comment dragon to level 50. That means you have to comment. I also got my gladiator dragon to over level 50 as well. And it was time to go adventuring using my new dragons and train them up a bit. So I hopped on my gladiator dragon and began flying. After a couple of days, I found this really cool place. So I decided to land, and I found a cool egg enclosure. So I mined the egg. This dragon is called the rainbow. Its diet type is omnivore, and its preferred foods are golden apples and carrots. This is definitely one of the coolest dragon eggs I've seen. But that's when I noticed some fiery stuff over here, and this weird pole, so I clicked on it, and I was transported into a new world. This world was dark, and it was pretty scary with mobs running around all over it. Not to mention, things in the air, so I hopped on my Eclipse Dragon to go look around. I noticed this dark enclosure with these bloody stones all over the place, so I had to check one out. And they were actually called Bloodstone Bricks. I also noticed a dragon egg, so I mined it, and this dragon is called the Vampire. Its diet type is Carnivore, and its preferred foods are blood which is super spooky. So after taking out some mobs, I made my way into this weird pyramid. There's nothing really in there, so I decided to leave and that's when I got attacked by these wolves. These wolves were super strong and there was a lot of them, so I had to make sure I wouldn't lose a lot of hearts. But luckily I got that diamond enchanted armor earlier, so I was doing pretty good against them. And my dragons were helping me out. I decided to hop on my raw dragon and see what else I could find here. So I went flying for a bit over this dark, scary landscape. And that's when I thought I noticed something in the distance. There were these lava pools all over. And there was a fiery red dragon in the center of it. This dragon was super big. And it looked crazy powerful. So I flew in trying to make sure it wouldn't notice me. And luckily it was asleep. I knew I couldn't defeat it yet. So I decided to go home. And for the next couple days, I would train. I crafted up dragon treats and leveled up all my dragons. Getting a bunch of them to level 100. I would need the strongest dragons possible. So with my level 100 dragons, I went out and trained them, and got them prepared for the coming battle. And after a while, I think they are ready. So I made my way back to the pole. Everything that I have been doing, collecting all these dragon eggs, training them, leveling them up, building my base, has all led to this moment. So, I clicked on the pole, and went inside. I used my death dragon to locate the volcano dragon, and start the assault. And I landed a couple good shots with it. The battle soon went aerial. My death dragon had been getting lower and lower, and started taking some damage. 
and after I got a couple shots in, my death dragon had fallen. So I had to pull up my tyrant's dragon. My blue fury was going to do some damage to this dragon. So I went in quick, using my blue flames to do as much damage as possible. But the volcano dragon was super fast, and it was evading a lot of my shots. I eventually got a good area in where I could get some damage with my blue flames, and go in with my spear. So I was starting to do damage to the dragon, but that's when he landed one shot and got me to one heart, and it lit me on fire. So I was down to half a heart. Luckily, I was able to heal up, but my dragon was super low. I needed to switch dragons. So I got off Blue Fury and switched to my Raw Dragon, landing one final blow and finishing the Volcano Dragon of the Underworld. Let me know in the comments what your favorite dragon from this video was, and make sure to subscribe because we are so close to 200k. Remember, it's free and helps out a lot.